Hello, future winners! Today is Saturday. That means that we prepared a free chess lesson for you to improve. We are looking at a game played by Kasparov against Georgiou, played in 1982. d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d6, a3. This variation is actually Petrosian's, but Kasparov improved it so much that some people only want to call it Kasparov's variation. Bishop b7, knight c3, d5. And in this position, we can see idea of a3 move, because after something like bishop e7, white can play d5, and there is never a bishop b4 check. d5, one takes, there are equally good moves knight d5 and uh, one takes d5, but if we take with knight, we don't block uh, our bishop on d7. Queen c2. And Kasparov loved to play e3, and he won many games like this. But in this game, he played queen c2. c5, e4, knight takes c3, pawn takes c3, bishop e7. This move looks uh, logical, he wants to castle, but it's not so precise. It was better, or that's what theory says, to play knight d7 and first play rook on c8, because our queen is not uh, well placed. But bishop e7, bishop b5. Very important moment. Of course, white wants his bishop on d3. But he thought and he saw that after knight c6 or knight d7 or bishop c6, black is standing worse than without those moves. So it's in a white's favor. He wanted to provoke bishop c6 and then to play bishop d3 what happened in game 2. And on knight c6, for example, queen a4, rook c8, and white is winning a pawn. And without bishop d5, with bishop d3, black would take here and play knight c6, and put much pressure on all of those squares. That's also showing why bishop b5 was such a good move. So bishop b5, bishop c6, bishop d3, knight d7, castle, and black played h6 because he was afraid of this variation after castle d5 taking he didn't want to give this h7 pawn after bishop e4 black is standing better but it was better for black uh, than what he played in game In game, he played h6. Rook d1, queen c7, and here's the question. Here's one typical position. What should white play? What's a thematic move? That's what we asked you on Instagram and on Facebook, and we hope you got it right.
d5 and plus for white is that black skin is in center so it's not only a breakthrough and a push in center but it's also attack on this weak king one takes one takes bishop d5 of course this pawn is not important bishop d5 and white has great initiative it wasn't even a move and black blundered so he couldn't fight for example bishop c6 here is white better of course but it's not so clear queen d7 bishop takes queen takes rook e1 king f8 rook a d1 this is something that white is dreaming of but it's not uh, so clear it's not immediately winning like after a6 so black blundered and here only bishop f4 wins not bishop d7 because there's counter attack bishop e4 very good move and black is standing better but white played bishop f4 queen f4 and on queen d7 taking c4 queen g4 take here rook e1 putting much pressure on this weak king and there's a mask rook a7 knight e5 rook c7 knight g6 pawn takes queen takes queen f7 rook d8 and this is win That's why black played queen f4 instead of queen b7. Then again taking rook d5 and king c7. What happens after king e8? Black is also losing knight e5, h5. Because for example, king f8 g3 and there's a, something uh, you always ask is it better to attack on king or queen but here Kasparov succeeded in both and here's no place for black's queen queen g5 then knight d7 But what happens on h5, knight g6, pawn takes, queen takes, king f8, and rook f5. But black played king c7, rook e1, bishop d6. Rook f5, queen c4, rook e4. But just to mention that uh, knight d2 was a bad move because of uh, rook e8. So precise play is required. Rook e4, queen b5, rook f7. King b8, rook e6, rook d8, c4. He is uh, attacking king, then queen, then king, then queen. So, very interesting game. 
queen c6 on queen a5, queen e4, threatening mate on b7, of course, rook a7, and then rook d7. But he played queen c6, knight e5, queen c8, queen b1. And black is hopeless, he can resign. He played queen e6. On b5, for example, we take and uh, it's game over. On rook a7, and it's over. In game, he played queen e6, then taking king c8 and queen b7 checkmate. That's it for today's lesson. Of course, we are preparing next week, next one. So subscribe to our channel and see you soon.